Australian Animals Part 4. The wedgetail eagle is found across Australia and is one of the top predators of Australia's ecosystem. With males weighing between 2 and 4 kilos and females being up to 5.8 and reaching wingspans of up to 2.3 meters, this bird is the largest raptor, bird of prey, in Australia. At one point, these birds were hunted due to the belief that they'd carry off farmers' lambs. However, it later turned out that they made up a small percentage of their diet, and ones they were witnessed eating were already dead. Typically, their diet consists of mainly rabbits by about 30 to 70%, according to birdlife.org.au, with some cases being reported at 92%. Other prey items are lizards, such as infant guaranas and bearded dragons, and mammals are also on the menu. They are also known to scavenge roadkill, such as dead kangaroos, and have also been witnessed hunting in pairs or forming large groups and hunting animals as large as adult kangaroos. This is also the reason behind the scientific name, meaning bold eagle. I also find it funny that Sabaton's The Red Baron is playing while I'm writing this script. Speaking of being the king of the sky, flying too fast and flying too high, they are known to actively attack model aircraft, fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, hang gliders, gliders, paragliders, drones, and are apparently the only birds known to actively do this, with the belief being that this is territorial behaviour. As mentioned earlier when bringing up their size, wedgetail eagles are the largest raptors in Australia. I remember my mother telling me about when she was driving once, and she saw one eating roadkill up ahead, so she slowed down to let it fly off. Rather than just flying off to one side of the road, however, the thing actually flew towards her car and right over it. She claimed it was as wide as a car. I also remember my dad saying he saw five crows going after another bird, and then out of nowhere came a wedge tail, which snatched up their meal, leaving my dad and the crows sat there watching it fly off. I think it's safe to say that they deserve their title of Apex Predator, with it easily being able to carry off that bird, due to the fact they can lift up to 50% of their body weight. However, according to Billabong Sanctuary's website, they can actually lift over 5 kilos. Also, my dad and I were driving around the other day and we saw a dead one on the side of the road. I think it's safe to say he met a drone that was more than a match for him. Which tells are monogamous, meaning they mate with only one other individual and only seek out another if their current mate dies. Mating season happens from June to December. When the female lays her eggs, she keeps guard over them while her mate brings new leaves and twigs to the nest. These nests can be huge, by the way, sometimes up to 2.5 meters or 1 parenti in diameter, and 3 meters deep. They can sometimes get larger than this because they keep adding new sticks to the nest. They also don't pick up any sticks that fall out of the nest, leading to massive piles sometimes 1.8 meters tall. After 45 days, the eggs hatch, and the male starts hunting for food for the chicks, while the female guards them, though after a month the female will join her mate to look for food. The young depend on their parents for about 6 months, leaving only when the next breeding season happens, and will be sexually mature by the time they're 6 or 7 years old, and can live for 20 years. One thing I came across said that in captivity, they can actually live up to 40 years. Despite being listed as least concerned by the IUCN, they are actually a protected species in Australia, being endangered in Tasmania, who is believed to have less than 1,000 members, with about 440 being mature. Thankfully, they are recovering and their numbers are increasing across the country. The wedgetail is actually on the emblem of the Northern Territory of Australia, and the West Coast Eagles footy team has a stylized one as their logo. They also have a real one named Ozzy, who performs tricks before games. Also, I think I should talk about a meme comparing the wedgie to the bald eagle that went viral for how inaccurate it was. To clear things up, the bald eagle is actually larger than its Australian relative. Yes, the wedgie is known to attack drones. No, the baldy isn't limited to fish. And yes, the wedge tail is known to hunt roos, and both can actually see in ultraviolet and infrared. I'll let you decide who'd win in a fight. You're playing with fire, Danny boy. And I am gasoline. Look and subscribe or this thing will stalk you.